Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is all the stories that happened last week on Earth. Let's talk about it, man. For starters, we got pregnant Barbie. Or Margot Ro Robbie. That's her name, man. She pregnant. Congratulations to her. A lot of people um happy about this, man. A lot of people thought they had a chance. Y'all didn't have a chance with Margot Robbie, man. A lot of people like her, man. When people bring her name up, everybody bring up Will Smith and say he dropped the ball or he messed up. But I don't know. She never did it for me, man. Margot Robbie personally. Because I had Jamie Presley. This this is a very end of Jamie Presley, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. From um, my name is Earl. I think she hotter or sexier, hotter, sexier. Black people don't say hotter, but you know what I mean, man. So big shout out to Margot Robbie for being the pregnant Barbie. Caught her outside. That's what happened to her, man. I don't condone this, but it happens, yo. What's her name? Bad baby. She got caught outside, man. Her baby daddy put hands and feet on her. Had her with the black eye. Caught her outside. You see footage of it, man, on the ring dash or something, man. So, hey, man, she said they're going to work their thing out or something to something to something to something to something. I don't know. But, yo, that's their business, man. What's her next stop? OnlyFans? Y'all know what we talking about, man. We talking about this woman right here or this girl, this lady, this female, this Ice Spice. Ice Spice, she looking like she don't want to twerk no more, man. That's her face. Y'all see it in her face. She tired of twerking. That's all she been known for is twerking, man. She got a couple songs out. I never heard them. I ain't listening for her. But all I know her for is twerking. That's what she do. And she don't like she enjoying it no more, man. So I say her next stop must be OnlyFans. She got to play with that monkey on camera. If she getting tired of that, tired of twerking, show that monkey. That's just me. That's my personal opinion. Jimmy Pesto pleads guilto. The actor to play Jimmy Pesto, this dude right here, he did some shit during January 6th. I don't know what it was, but he did something. He was there. They locked his ass up or something to something to something. I don't know the details. I just know he played guilty for his part in that, you know. Um, on the January 6th, when they stormed the Capitol building and all that stuff. So Jimmy Pesto, he plead guilty, man. I don't really know him, so man, let's, let's get off that. Should have worked for AT and T. This woman right here, man, she is a school teacher. I said she should have worked for AT and T because she was caught sending out two what twenty eight thousand texts to a student. She got fired. Then she went to another job and got fired from there too. So hey, as I said, you should have worked for AT and T. You sending out all these goddamn messages, man. Yo, you nasty. What about your friends? Y'all remember that song, man? But we ain't talking about that. We talking about Chandler from Friends. Matthew Perry, R.I.P. to this dude right here, man. But they might be opening up his case, man. They say, look, he might have not, you know, just passed away. Somebody might have helped him pass away, you know? Some assistance. Um, Right now, they're looking into investigation. This girl right here, man. I don't know her name, but I know the dude she with. That's Tiger Blood himself. Um, Charlie Sheen. So, um, it's his ex-girlfriend or something to something. She might have something to do with it, man. Y'all find this out on your own, man. I don't know. This is just what last week on Earth. This is what happened last week. Um, bottoms up. This is a nasty couple right here, man. These two people right here. They was, um, John, Joe Boyette and Mary Sweat. Mm -mm -mm. Bottoms up because he asked, he was at this um, rodeo Mexican restaurant. And he asked the staff for a damn um, funnel so he can butt chug you know and they ain't get to him so he just poured it in the ass and drunk it out man nasty motherfucker them two right there in public man come on man people gotta eat there let me put that cup that close to her come on man you over there get a room right, damn y'all nasty mm, mm, mm. what else yo i ain't mad at this jit right here man this the son of Lil dirt Lil dirt son then pop 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 this um mama's boyfriend in a domestic violence case he was whooping on the mama and he went and got that thing he had no business um yo i ain't mad at him so yo 
catch me outside. Yo, back to that story. Um, maybe your baby need to carry the blicky for you or something. I don't know, man. But that's what happened. I ain't mad, legit, man. Somebody whooping on my mama. I'm going to go and get that thing, too. So, he did right. Big shout out to little Dirk's son. Where my dogs at? What, what? Where my dogs at? What's this nigga name? ASAP Ferg. Somebody found his dog, man. This dog was missing for four years. Four years and it came back. I did my own investigation. Well, my own mental investigation. I thought, somebody took your dog from you, bruh. That's all it was. How you gonna find a dog from four years, man? Last, um, last Friday when we talked about it on the show, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. All these stories I'm gonna talk about now, I talked about on Friday in depth discussion with my co-host. But, um, when we was talking about this, we was thinking like, yo, this is some homework bound type shit, you know? A dog, four years missing and come back. How that happened? Me personally, I think it was a girlfriend he was fucking with or something. She ain't like the dog. She told her sister to hold it. She finna break up with the nigga. Let him have his little dog back. Oof. Threw it back in the yard. But congratulations to ASAP Fur from getting his dog back after four years. Four years? What's, 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 what, seven times four? 28? That dog 28 years old? That's a grown man. Kick that dog in. He didn't get a job or something. I don't know. Anyway. Woo, this is a lot of wings, man. 200 wings in 38 minutes. Joey Chestnut, this dude right here used to be the hot dog eating champion um, for Nathan's Hot Dogs. But he, don't, he ain't with them no more. Um, the 4th of July, they had a whole nother winner. He ain't do it this 4th of July because he became a, not that he became a vegan, but he signed with a vegan company. You see, and they ain't want to have no damn hot dog, no, no vegan representing them in the hot dog eating contest and... They let him go. So go ahead, do your thing, man. So I don't know how he eating wings. I mean, he might not be a vegan. I don't know the man's story. I don't know the legit I'm going to do like that, man. So whatever, man. Fuck him. But Joey Chestnut, 200 wings, buffalo wings, boneless wings in 38 minutes. Your stomach were hurting. You nasty. All right. R.I.P. to Yasmin Williams. I don't really know the case about this girl right here, man. But like she was on to do something great in her life, man. She just graduated. Um, they found her body in the damn trash bag or rolled up in the carpet or something, uh, dumpster, something to something like that. I don't know the details, man. But the dude right here, he's alleged, you know, the dude who did it. And on his way out of the jailhouse or something, he got attacked. Big shout out to them people, man, for putting hands and feet on that dude, man. They ain't get him, get him, but they got him, got him. You know what I mean? They had like 10 officers and they had like 40 people. So everybody can get a few punches in. And that's what happened to that dude, man. So I repeated this shorty right here, man. Like she was on to something in her life, man. Unlike that nigga who took her life. Fuck him. Bite or flight. I know y'all heard about this, man. This woman was on the airplane. She took a bite out of a man's shirt. Out of the flight attendant's shirt. Look at it, man. You can see it in her mouth. She bit that dude, man. I don't really know the details on this story. I just know she bit somebody on the airplane. Dollar Tree Skeet and Yeet. Oh, this was nasty right here. But this dude, man, he um skeeted on the woman's leg at the Dollar Tree. This was crazy, man. This dude right here, man, he even asked for having a shirt to say it's not going to lick itself. That's his shirt. That's the lead suspect. Huh, that's nasty, man. I was wondering when we was talking about this on the show Friday. I was like, yo, how did he, did, did, did he prep? Like, it's a lot of stories, man, a lot of allegations. Like, on her leg and he took off running meek mills put out a two thousand dollars bounty on him like look y'all need to find this dude man and it's like the fourth time this didn't happen we found it out through the chat man had a player partner of mine in the chat who's watching the show with us friday and he was like yo this shit happened a couple times at that same location four times to be exact come on man can you imagine that you got to go to dollar tree dollar tree dollar general family dollar you looking around because there's a damn habitual skeeter out there he in the house prepping. Doom, 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 doom. Jaws. I don't know, man. That's nasty, man. Hope he, hope he turned himself in. Hope he get fucked up, man. So, I don't know. It's just nasty. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> this is Matthew McConaughey, man. He got stung by a bee. And he closed his eye up. Look at his eye. God damn. Mm, mm, mm. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Matthew McConaughey, get better, man. You all right, man. You dope. You pretty dope. 
Ooh, the Thumb Thugs. This was a crazy story right here, man. These two chicks right here, they was accused of them. They prostitutes, man. They was fucking on some old nigga. But what they did, they killed him. They cut his thumb off so they can pay themselves. They cut his thumb off and put this damn finger on the on the thing, you know, to open up his cell phone to pay themselves, man. That is nasty. That's why I call them thumb thugs, man. Look at them. That's when I'm walking with it. With that old nigga, man. That's, that's shorty. But I think they could have got more out of him, man. If they would have just tricked for a little bit longer. That's an old nigga. He paying y'all to fuck around, so... Get all that nigga checked forever. Y'all just want to get a little easy payment. Y'all killed him, took his thumb, and... Y'all nasty, man. It's a nasty world we live in, man. But, hey. You know what I mean? The name game. Yo, this dude right here, man. He put himself an application in on a resume. And his name, you know, and I think it was a uh, hotel, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, they told him, nah, you can't work here, cuz. He took that same um, resume up there, application up there, to change the name to like John Jonakowski, Joe Vicious, some um, white adjacent name. And he got the job. So now he's suing them places because they won't give him his job because of what his name is. Um, Y'all gotta keep. Quit naming y'all children some dumb shit too now. Y'all can't be saying my name the brick of chicken the Keontae Vaughn. Like y'all got like eight names and one name and Jackson and y'all can't be sounding I don't know. You shouldn't be fucked up and not hired because of your name in the first place. But when you see your name looking like Juravicious Jerome Jeron like hey y'all hey there's some nigga names out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. So yo mm -hmm. you got a case though. Oh my God, this nigga right here so disrespectful. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about Michael Ely. Michael Ely picked up a nigga, bitch, hugged her. Ooh, swung around. Ooh, bitch, how you doing? How you doing? Dap my man up. Say what's up to his girl. Didn't they take a picture together? And look at Jonathan Majors looking all crazy, man. Mm, mm, mm. That's wild, man. That's why I say this nigga is disrespectful, man. You did all that, man. You gonna pick that man girl up? Look at this, man. Look at it. Look at the face of of um Kang the Conqueror. Oh, you hugging niggas? That's that look. Oh, you hugging niggas like that? Like that? Mm hmm. I don't know what that conversation was in the car, but I know it wasn't great, man. I don't know. Maybe it was, man. But that's what they say he was looking like, man. This this is Michael Ely. Ha 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 ha. The thriller. Um, I say that nigga disrespectful though, man. That was some. You, you pick my bitch up, man. Don't. Mm -mm. If you know her, say what's up. Hey, how y'all doing? You know, I'ma speak with you. I'm, hey, we doing all right. We cool. That's what's up. All right, yeah, we cool. But you ain't finna pick my lady up, man. You ain't finna mm, pelvis and shit and squeezing a bit. Nah. Um, but the thing I did hear about this story though, that he might not be that disrespectful because the video they were showing is him just. Picking up old girl and hugging and shit and talking to everybody else and disrespecting that man, not talking to him, looking at him at all and all that, being in the picture together. But it's another picture, I mean, another um, photo of footage out there where he shook that man's hand first. He shook Kane the Conqueror, Jonathan Major's hand, then he went over and did that. So y'all be careful how you, what y'all see on the internet, man. Because they will try to fuck you over sometime, man. But there's no here on that. But that nigga is disrespectful. Don't pick my bitch up. Don't pick my bitch up, nigga. Honest Abe, I ain't like this story, man. I did not like this at all. But they got a damn documentary coming out called Lover of Men, The Untold History of Abraham Lincoln. I didn't like this, not because I don't think he is or not, or have been fucking around with men, been fucking on niggas or nothing like that. I don't know that. That's, But how we know that? How we know? It's untold history, but they can... I don't know, man. Y'all just putting smut on my man's in them name like that. And I don't even fuck with him like that. I ain't got no... No horse in the race for Abraham Lincoln, but they saying that nigga was out here fucking on niggas, man. Um, but how can y'all just come out and say that? Is there any proof, document? I see a gnat flying around. Get out of here. I seen that, man. Y'all seen it too. Who's y'all seen? It? it was flying. Anyway, um, how y'all gonna say that, man? I ain't like that because I did not like this right here. It was a great movie after I finally watched it. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Um. It was a good movie, though, but I ain't like it because how y'all gonna put that on his name? That is a real person, Abraham Lincoln. How can y'all say he was a vampire hunter? That's fucked up. 
That's real fucked up, man. And I don't like that because I don't like what they can do in the future. They can make Malcolm X a vampire hunter. You, you see? Martin Luther King, ghost specialist. Y'all can just put y'all if y'all can do that to um a president of the United States, call him a fucking vampire hunter. I do not like this. Y'all cannot call that man a vampire hunter. Y'all had a movie of Abraham Lincoln, the president, hunting motherfucking vampires. You can't do that, man. So y'all coming out saying he's a lover of men. I don't know. I ain't really I ain't really feeling that, man. How can how can y'all say that, man? So that's just me, man. That's just how I feel about it. But honest Abe, he might have been honest Abe, man. I don't know. I don't know. But that's all the stories that happened last week on Earth, man. Come through next week. Y'all can find out what happened last week, man. I'm going to tell you about it, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday night. At 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. And that's what happened last week on Earth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. Right? This time? But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.